I've got all sorts of points to make about um, the digital university. But I'll, I'll do some of it today and um, say some more tomorrow. The, the thing is that John's got this idea of... Um, well, it started with thank you for being late. So if he is late... Today, today I, 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 he had to go to the doctor. So it's not not a worry today because I knew what he, where, that he wasn't coming. Um, but sometimes um, he's not here and sometimes I think he's right. I, I've sort of decided if it's if it's t terrible rain tomorrow, today's rain turned out to be you could get through it more or less. But um, we, we do have a backup playout system and we can control what goes into it to some extent. So we, we update the, the backup from time to time. And this is part of that. So we'll, we'll, we'll set up one with dates that go through to December. And it will change a little bit. And we may turn up on the We Don't Know show as well. So we may fade it out and it will become a live radio and then we'll put that bit into the next one so forth so the dates around um, the 16th to the 18th of April is when the digital university discussion is in Exeter um, but also the Wednesday and Thursday that week there's um, learning technologies at Excel and I'm going to go to some of that. I'm going to go to the um, the Thursday of that. I think it is. I'm still a bit confused where I'm, where I'm going to be. But I'm trying to do both both of those because um, we've been going to bet with the Wild Show as well as this show um, for th well certainly before the lockdown and during the lockdown we sort of kept contact with it and recently and I think the learning technologies which is like an, an adult or training show is part of that so it's sort of education and training it's, what, it's, it's what, actually what BET stands for although it's thought of as a schools show and a, now a, a university show as well uh, the training word has always been in there and the learning technologies show demonstrates that um, it's completely different organisations, but they both happen at um, Excel, and um, it's possible to fit them together in your, in your head, at least. So I'm going to I'm going to try and cover that as well as the event in Exeter. But I think it's it's relevant in a, in a, also in a in a couple of ways. There's um, Coursera and uh, Udemy, I think it is, at Learning Technologies. And that's based on the fact that the, the MOOC scene is working for technical skills, let's say. or that There's other subjects as well, but at that end of things, it's clearly viable. Um, Coursera have got a lot of information about artificial intelligence. They've got courses working with Google and IBM and various other other people, and you you can and that 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 would be that they've got a stall at um, a, a a booth um, at Learning Technologies, and so it's going to be possible to fi find out from them how they how they see that. But I have noticed that um, Coursera and FutureLearn are. They've got their logo on the promotion for the Digital Universities event, um, but I, I don't know quite what that what that means. I I I think in my impression is so far the universities aren't really thinking of the MOOC and um, credentials, short term courses, online. It it seems to be much more about variations on on degree and postgrad courses but I don't know we'll, we'll see how that how that works out the other thing that's happening is that there's a, a, a proposal for online learning rankings 
which is from the same people, T-H-E, who are organising the conference in Exeter. And that will launch in April. So I imagine it will be discussed at this event. Um, and but the, the, they'll be based, so the, the rankings will be based on observations between April and June. And then there will be an announcement in December. But it excludes business schools and business school degrees. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe because business schools aren't undergraduate mostly or you usually they're not i don't i don't really know that i've seen a, a suggestion on twitter i think it was can't remember who who, who wh- where this came from um poets and quants is another setup that i I hadn't come across before but exists in the states and they they cover business schools um and they're part of THE somehow, and maybe they will have their own rankings on uh, online learning from business schools. I don't know, but it seems seems it's possible to take all these rankings and mix and match them. You can take 50% of one and 50% of another and come up with your own. But I, I don't think... We get, I mean, this is the We Don't Know show. We're not going to do that. But we will be looking at all of these things because um, we started out with the MOOC and the MOOC is in that in that mix somewhere, I think. 